No two NFL teams have played more often than the Bears and Packers, and we're underway from Lambeau. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. So here are the Bears now for their opening drive. They'll be led out by a first-round pick back in 2021 from Ohio State. It's Justin Fields. And not only does he have all the skills that you're looking for as a quarterback, he's incredibly tough and plays the game fearlessly as both a runner and a passer. You provide a good running game around him and let him throw deep off of play action, you've got an all-star in the making. Field's going to throw right away. Just like that, it's a gain of 12 and a first down on their first play. That's the first time he's called his own number, but he's got to be overjoyed with the results. He wasn't just going to settle for a modest gain. To me, he was determined to come through with a big message to a defense that slept on him in the pocket. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. From the gun, here's Fields. Steps away to his left. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Devondre Campbell, nice play to get in there and drop him. Partner, the Mike linebacker, the middle linebacker, has so many different responsibilities. How excited do you think he was to get home with that blitz? Yeah, he wants a sack. He got it. Here's Travis Homer, the former Miami Hurricane. And he'll rumble for about five, up close to the 40. Not a ton of room available on that one, but he made use of what space was available and gained decent yardage. It looks like the Packers have added an extra DB on third down. Fields. He'll get that complete to his tight end, Cole Komet. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, on third down, he wanted to go to one of his most dependable targets, and that's who he found, his tight end there, to pick up the first, Charles. And he used the proper word there, dependable, and sometimes spectacular, because tight ends nowadays, they can do it all. But they're the guys you trust, especially across the middle of the field where there's traffic, he delivers, and they pick up nice yardage. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Brought down that time by Quay Walker. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. They'll go again with Herbert. And they nearly sprung him that time as he takes this all the way down to the 37. Mark that down as a pickup of 13, and the Bears have the first. And that's a run that'll energize an offensive line. They'll take that one all day long. Fundamental breakdown by the defense. You've got to be able to make plays on the edge. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 37-yard line. Here's a give to Herbert. He's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Line of scrimmage, the 24. This is second and six. A handoff for Herbert. And some strong running there as he's down just shy of the 20 on the edge of the red zone. Mark that down as a pickup of 13, and the Bears have the first. How best to describe that one? I'd say right down Broadway on that run. A straight ahead running. I think that that might be something we see a lot of between the tackles today. Well, he's enjoying things so far here this afternoon. Sees a crease and bursts through it for a solid game. Flush to his right. And Fields going to have the first down before sliding to a halt to avoid the contact. 13-yard gain yet again, just like last play. This early in the game, it's all about making steady progress downfield, hoping to lead to early points. And you can do it with your actual play calls or sometimes something a little more improvised, as we just saw there. Fields tapping it forward, jet sweep. 
And he's going to pull his way down to about the one-yard line. And that's something you have to get ready for defensively because in today's NFL, teams will use their wide receivers on jet sweeps, end of rounds. They'll move them back in the backfield and make them running backs. Partner, this was much more of a tap pass, but effective nonetheless. And I think both guys love it. If you're a quarterback, it's an easy completion if you're... And he takes this one in for a Bears touchdown. Kari Blossom game. Taking it in from a yard out. And the Bears have taken the early lead on the road here at Lambeau. That's just a solid, methodical drive to start this game. And how about how it culminated? Doing exactly what they wanted to do, getting the ball downfield, and then running it into the end zone. I'm just telling you, partner, when you run it in rather than throw it in, that hurts the defense psychologically a heck of a lot more. Extra point through the snowflakes, up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Keyshawn Nixon now from his end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. So here comes the Packers offense now onto the field. They'll be led out by a first-round pick in the 2020 draft out of Utah State. This is Jordan Love. I tell you what, when he's on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there on every snap. A truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm talent when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book, he's an asset to have in any offense. A guy coming off a career high in rushing yards last year. Here's Aaron Jones. Knifes his way forward here, but just three yards on the play. Second down. Brandon, to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. To throw now. Here's Love. Quick slant to Watson. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so our offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. They get six on the pickup there as the drive continues. Well, they kept it simple there, CD, only needing the short gain to move the chain, so they didn't want to go with a deep throw. They just go with that safer, shorter throw and able to convert. Nothing wrong with that at all, partner. Check the box, right? Make sure you pick up the first down. Offense is getting established. You're moving the ball. You're not turning it over. Check, check, check. They like what they're doing early in the game. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. Well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. Second down, another shot for Jones. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Well, we always talk about good down and distance, allowing offenses to expand their playbook. Well, second and two, that means your playbook's wide open. You can run just about anything. But a lot of times, the play caller, he just looks down at his sheet, sees the short yardage runs, and goes to one of those. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Back for the second quarter in Green Bay. It's the Packers in possession of the football. A pair of first downs gives them a first and 10 up at the 44. Again, it's Jones. And a lane slow and materializing there as he'll get maybe a yard up to the 45. 
That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carrier before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Switching things up, they'll throw it now with Jordan Love. His throw incomplete. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. Now play number eight on this drive, and they need nine yards to pick up the first on third. To pass, here's Jordan Love. And incomplete here to bring up fourth down as the rookie couldn't haul it in. Timing's crucial in any route thrown, but when you throw an out, so many things are going through the mind of the receiver. Catching the ball, timing it up with the quarterback, are my feet going to get down inbounds? On that play, all those things going through his head might have caused him to drop it. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. 36 yards on the punt with no return. And out will come the offense as they take over. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7 0 lead. Of course they would. I mean, look, they're on the road. So getting the 7 0 lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out of the game. That'd be ideal. On first down, it's Fields. And that'll be incomplete. I think he could have scanned downfield forever, but there wasn't anything available. Ends up throwing an incompletion, and I think he'll take that. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Fields now to throw. And that would off the mark behind him, incomplete. Well, they approached this drive with a lot of confidence after the last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on their first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Now it's Fields. And he will find the open man. It's D.J. Moore. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that's a good job there of knuckling down as an offense. You're trying to avoid three and out at all costs. And after two straight incompletions, this one's on target, and they're able to keep the chains moving. So first and 10 now from the 30. Now it's Fields off the bootleg. This one complete to Tunyon underneath. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And that'll bring up second down. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran it a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. On second down, here's Fields. Locates Mooney on the out route. So the completion good for just three. And that'll bring us to a third and four. Throwing again is Fields. And that is incomplete. Now that's a good bounce back after giving up a touchdown on the opening drive. Just one first down permitted and then out. Obviously no loss of confidence with that defense. And now they get to turn it back to their offense. On fourth down, Chicago brings out Trenton Gill. Fair catch called. It's taken in right at the 20-yard line. The Packers offense here coming back out for their second drive. It hasn't gone particularly well for them. That's obvious. In these conditions, no points so far. They've got to get that offense on track. The question, how do they do it? It is the age-old question, isn't it? And to me, finding a way to make sure your playmakers touch the ball without it being too exotic, meaning you don't have to go deep down the field. 
Maybe you hit them on the short passes on the perimeter. Make sure you just turn around and hand it to your best runner and get out of the way. Don't cause any extra stress on your offense. I know that speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. From the 22 now, here's the second down and nine. On play action, love to throw. He'll find the goal complete. A gain there of 21 yards. Well, a lot of credit to the play caller here. He saw the design in his mind and implemented it. A little zone stretcher here because they started the tight end on the left side of the formation and set him on a crossing route. And this works really well where you can find that space between levels, and they were able to do so for good yardage. From the shotgun, to give to Jones. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Second down, Love. Over the middle here, it's hauled in by Watson. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears 43. It's a gain of 12, and the Packers have the first. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Running right, Jones. Slipped one tackle, but no more as he's knocked to the deck behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. I have a feeling they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on the early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. An inside give to Jones. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. He gets them a little over half of what they need, and now they're looking at a third and five. On a second and long, it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long-distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot on third down. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football. There was pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him, and they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. Love going to stay out there. They'll take a chance on fourth down. He'll look to throw. Pass caught. It's Romeo Dobbs. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Fourth down, no problem. Just a ho-hum pickup of 14 to keep the offense on the field. And that's what you've got your tough little slot receiver for, isn't it? Right there, those fourth down conversions in the middle of the field. He knows that's where he has to make his living, and that's where he has to make plays to help his team. And no one is asking him to do anything more or less than do exactly what we saw there. They go back to the ground with Jones. And he's going to take this one down to about the 23-yard line. Now it's second and nine. Love. Slant around, he's got Dobbs. The end result, 21 yards. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. Love now. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. 
Tight end has become a bigger and bigger part of the passing game in the NFL, but if you drop the football, that position can get swapped out with a you know, wide receiver in that spot, a running back in that spot. There are other ways they can go if you're not going to catch the ball. And that's not just his first drop, his second drop of the game. Dylan is in. Touchdown, Packers. And they would not be denied on the ground, powering it in just one play after they got stopped short. And how about how many tight ends were on the field? Because in today's NFL, we think of the tight end more as a pass catcher. But this group, they tell them you've got to be able to run block to stay on this team. And they committed to it and got it done right there. Anders Carlson now for the point after. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. That one in the books as a 12-play drive. And it was A.J. Dillon who capped it off with a touchdown run. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. Onto the field now come the Bears. Tie ball game, still a little more than a minute to go in the half. The question, can they put something together here, try to take that lead into intermission? I would have to think that would be the goal for sure. I don't think you sit on anything here. Here's your opportunity. Push it downfield. As you mentioned, it's a tie game. So minus a disaster on your part, you've got that in your back pocket. Go ahead and try and get some points and feel great going into the half. Fields on first down. And he'll get to the 29-yard line, brought down there. He'll get 10 there all on his own, but it'll be second down. They made a nice effort to stick it with a loss for that play, but it's going to take more than that to keep him from advancing the ball. Should be an entertaining battle anytime he tucks and runs over the second half of this contest. A good gain on first has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. Here's Fields. And his throw is incomplete. Well, that's a defensive coordinator's got to be happy with that result. They took away all options downfield and forced the incompletion. An incomplete pass on second down leads us to third and inches. Now Fields. And that will be incomplete with a clock showing 18 seconds now to go. This defense has certainly played well so far in this game, and the coverage has been tight on just about every throw. Forced a few here so far in this game, and now it brings up fourth down. The fourth down, so they send out Trenton Gill. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. A 40-yard punt, no return, and control of the football switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. And from the 34, here's second and four. Love looking to throw it. Throwing left side, and Watson has it. And this offense going to elect to burn a timeout with five seconds remaining in quarter number two. Come on, 
And you see the clock almost empty, so this is likely the last play in the second quarter. Final play of the half, Love. And this one is incomplete. So a touchdown apiece. That's what we have to show at halftime as they head to the locker room. 7-7 seven, seven our score. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome everyone to our brand new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. Not much has changed since we left you at halftime. The snow still continuing to fall as we are back underway. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped it to 23-yard line. Now the Packer offense ready to go to begin this third quarter. It's a tie football game here. What do you think, Charles, the message was at halftime? Well, I think that they probably just looked at things and said, we're fortunate that this is a tie game. No need to panic. No need to change a whole lot. We didn't play anything close to our best in the first half, so we don't have to go out and win one for the Gipper. Let's just go out and play our best football and win one for us. On oh, the out route, Dobbs brings it in. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. Call it a gain of three on the play, and it'll be second down. On the delay, Jones. He takes this for three to the 29. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right. He's pretty much been completely neutralized. And the Bears in the nickel. No, wait, they're in the dive. Six DBs out there on third. Could play an exotic coverage. Here's Love. Pressure, and he's taken down. A Bear sack. He couldn't get away there on third down. The pressure too much, and he's sacked for a loss of 12. Well, many times when you talk about mobile quarterbacks, you get the sense that they feel like they can get out of any bad situation. They keep moving around and trying to emulate guys like the scrambler or the dodger. Instead, they keep losing yardage and losing yardage and digging themselves a hole that they can't get out of. Here's Pat O'Donnell now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Here comes Pettis on the return. We'll call that a punt of 38 yards officially, and it'll be a short field for the Bears as they take over first and 10. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. Now both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively just not able to get anything going. So what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to how did each play work? OK, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back to some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. Well, we saw a lot of negative plays that resulted in plenty of lost yardage in the first half, and that trend is continuing here. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. On second down, a run with Herbert. And no luck at all to start this drive as they're going to drop him behind the line for a second straight play. Third down, now even tougher. Third and 13 after that loss of a yard. When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty. But when it doesn't, oh, it can be ugly. And in this case, 
Loss of yardage ugly. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And he's got the hook up to Moore. Touchdown! D.J. Moore, 51 yards. And the Bears have taken the lead. As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts, <laughs> all right? Because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in big sky country. Aren't any speed <laughs> limits out there? And off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. Santos now to add the PAT. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. The drive there only spanning three plays. And it concludes with a touchdown reception by D.J. Moore. The Bears send the kicking team out there, and they will send this one away. Well, now how about this return? He's to midfield. Still going past the 30. And he will score. Touchdown. I know a lot of special teams coaches, they just want to keep it away from him because that's what he can do. And others have egos that their players can't keep up with. And they say, challenge him. Kick it to him. The way he runs as fast as he is, I wouldn't challenge him at all. I'd do everything possible to keep it away. He is just a blur when he gets a full head of steam, and he got a full head of steam there. Carlson on for the extra point. And a good job on the hold there as this is good through the snow and this game is tied. And no doubt one of the most, if not the most exciting play we'll see in this game. The kick return all the way to the end zone for six points. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And he returns this to the 22. D.J. Moore headed back out as the Bears take over on possession. Pretty good game for him so far. I guess he's still got time here to make this a great game, but so far, he's been solid. I like where you're going with that because it has been pretty good. But there's always that hint that things can really escalate for him. And right now, they, they feel like they're somewhat keeping him in check, but he has found the end zone once. But boy, he can explode at any moment. Yeah, and when you hit that end zone once, you want to find it again, don't you? <laughs> yes, makes, you do. It you makes get, you hungrier. You, you get greedy in a good way. And he'll get this just across the 25-yard line. The defense thought they had that play covered, but it still got driven backward by those blockers. Those types of plays are a key part of any team's offensive game plan. It all starts up front in the trenches. Second down and six now from the 26. On oh, the option left is Fields. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. And that one will go for 13 yards on the keeper and a first down. How about that there? No frills, no additives, right? Nothing crazy. Just find a way to pick up the first down. A nice run right there. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. On first and 10, it's Herbert. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. 
from the lineman to the guy running with it. That was a well-executed first down by the offense. With two shots left to get the first, you can get a little aggressive here on second down if you want and try for some bigger yardage. This is Homer. Now they nearly sprung him that time as he takes this all the way down to the 37. 18 yards on that one, and Chicago has the first. Well, CD, a lot of times like to separate speed and quickness, and they've got a back that's both. We know that he's fast and in the open field, but, man, his first step is so quick, too. It is something, isn't it? Because you think of that type of speed getting to the perimeter and turning upfield, but also when you run those inside runs, he can get into the secondary so fast the linebackers don't have a chance to react. And the big boys up front, they're going to stop him right at the line. Kenny Clark, the big D tackle there to make the stop. Nice job there defensively to clamp down because really they've been on their heels this drive. Agreed, and they really needed that one for confidence, just to feel a little bit better. But I don't know if I would be daunted by them stopping me on one run. This drive has gone pretty well. I could come right back at them. And tough sledding. He'll get maybe a yard, stop short of the 35. Watching that play unfold and watching him complete it, Brought back memories of doing all those pursuit drills to make sure you don't over-pursue and let a guy get a cutback lane on you. He did that very well. You praised him on tape yesterday for the angles that he takes to the ball. Took a great angle right there. This one complete to Tunyon underneath. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. It'll go as a gain of four, and it'll be fourth down. One of the money routes for any offense, the drag route. So tough to defend because the receiver can stop at any point and make himself available to the quarterback and get a completion. But I love the communication we saw there. All the defenders pointing out the receiver, where he was going, and then they're able to rally to the ball after the catch and stop him short of a first down. So he splits the uprights, and has to be a nice feeling. Right when it left his foot, knew it was good. Yeah, just like a good three-point shooter in basketball, right? Release the ball, fall back on defense without even looking. You know it's going in the hoop. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Well, another drive coming up for this Packers offense. And really, Charles, not much of a surprise that they're losing. They just haven't been able to get much of anything going in the pass game. And as you well know, in today's NFL, if the passing game isn't working, usually not much else is working either. Exactly right about that, partner. And I know that right now the easy answer would be, hey, let's run the football. But that might not be everything you need. So despite the fact that they've struggled throwing it, they've got to find some type of a play, multiple plays, that puts the ball in the air and allows for them to have some success. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to Huddle feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. We're going to give out a little applause on that play. It has to go to the defense. More good work by them. They've taken away the passing lanes all game long, and you can see the frustration that it's causing because he just about threw that one into the first row. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Now Love. And that is incomplete. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right, they did something to disrupt that timing. Here's Pat O'Donnell now, as he's on to punt for Green Bay.
On the return is Pettis. A 40-yard putt, five yards on the return, and the Bears take over. The Chicago offense set to get started. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Yeah, Run what you do best. On the gas. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. And he swallowed up right near the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. What an advantage having a lead guy in the middle of the defensive line because not only does he take up the space and let the linebackers run free, but he can also make plays himself, as we just saw there. Back to throw, Fields. That's complete to his running back, Herbert. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. A Chicago first down there on a gain of 11. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at Lambeau. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. A give left side here for Herbert. And this will be taken across midfield and into Green Bay territory. 47 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. If you can keep getting gains like that, Charles, with the lead here in the fourth quarter, I mean, keep running it, right? No doubt about it, but what the offense coordinator has to do is understand they're going to continue to stack the line of scrimmage. What runs do you have in your arsenal that'll work against a stacked box and continue to move the ball? A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. He was looking to get that one to D.J. Moore, and it's third and short. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Fields to throw on third and one. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 34-yard line. The defense surrenders a 13-yard pass play there on third and one. I'm not sure that that was necessarily a safety valve or a check down throw on third down. Sometimes just try and find the open guy and get him the ball. He did exactly that and found a way to pick up a first down. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Here's Fields. Tunyon's got it on the out round. And he'll be out of bounds, able to get it down to the 25 there. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches, as we just saw him do there, because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days, but you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target, and that's how he'll shred the defense. So give them the yardage on the pass and half the distance to the goal line. Because they're inside the 30. So now you don't march off the full 15, right? You have half the distance to the goal. In any event, that's precious real estate given up. So the face mask moves them closer. And now first and goal. Herbert powering up the middle. And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. Khalil Herbert. Taking it in from seven yards away. And the Bears are able to build on to their fourth quarter lead. And that right there is the definition of a statement drive. You're in the fourth quarter, trying to get to the finish line. And here, they were able to hold the ball for a long time and move it down the field. And how about them finishing it off with the touchdown run? Winning football 101, check that box. Santos able to tack on the extra point, and his guys will take a 10-point lead.
The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Nixon now from his end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Green Bay offense ready to take over. And you figure after giving up that last touchdown, you know, they trail by two scores here in the fourth quarter. This drive becomes very critical. Loving the Packers now with a first and 10 at their own 24. To throw now, here's Love. Drops it to Jones in the flat. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one-possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. The ball on the 32, it's second and two. To pass, here's Jordan Love. When you see passes knocked down by those guys I call the frustrated fullbacks, the linebackers, you know that in their zone coverage, they were able to drop, see the ball thrown, and react to it very quickly. The Packers on third down. They've had their troubles, just one for six. Here it's third and two. They'll try and run for it with Jones. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. It's a seven-yard gain and good enough to move the chains. Now, yes, a two-possession game, but a good chunk of time on the clock, so they have the ability still there to run it on second and short, but maybe they need to pick it up a bit. You're right. They did pick up the first down there, but they, as you mentioned, they have to pick up the pace now because it's a two-possession game. They've got to get there twice to make sure they have a chance to win. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it'll be second down. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. From the 46, here's second and three. Throwing. Love. Yeah, that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps to have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Love going to give this one to Jones. And able to pick up the first across midfield to the 47. They give him seven yards on the play, and they do pick up the conversion on third down. Brandon, unfortunately, I've been here before. They've had two opportunities to stop them, so this is demoralizing. They haven't gotten it done. Now you're calling all your blitzes, all your attack defenses, but you're not worried about playing your normal position. You're going to take chances now. Well, you said it. Two third down opportunities to get off the field. Couldn't do it, and the clock continues to roll. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. And good yardage there on first down because sometimes all you need to do on the screen is get one key block. That might set your man free, and that was pretty good pursuit to the football defensively, or it could have gone for more. From the 38 now, here's second and two. Love with a give to Dillon. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. Four yards the pickup, first down. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Love now to pass on first down. Over the middle complete. It's Watson. So the completion good for six yards. And that's going to bring up second down. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helped to have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. Second down, love. And complete once again to Watson. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Well, every drive from here out is definitely crucial and critical. They know that they need to get at least three here to get it back to a one-score game. But I can't imagine that in their huddle, 
that they're thinking at all about getting a field goal. They want to get into the end zone and then try and get the ball back again. Operating from the gun, Love. And he'll go down, brought down at the 20-yard line. This will go as an 11-yard loss there on first and goal. Well, there's still time to rectify this situation because the silver lining, it took a sack on first and goal. But that close to the goal line, that still definitely hurts. Love now on second down. Under pressure, and they got to him again. T.J. Edwards, he's the one that drops him this go around, and that pass rush getting strong here, back-to-back -back sacks. I remember throughout my career here in defensive coaches always say, guys, you've got to earn the right to rush the passer. Well, they put themselves in a great spot with this big lead, and they know they've got to throw the ball. These pass rushers have to be salivating. It is pin your ears back time indeed. Nice completion, nice gain. Great tackle. Really good tackle. Kept him in bounds, kept things going. What do you do here? That's the question. Let's see what they do. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Packer football here as we welcome you back. They're looking at a fourth and goal here as they search for a late score. So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here from the right hash at a bit of a tight angle. And his kick is good. And this is back down to a seven-point game. So you knew one way or another that they needed the two scores. They get the easy one out of the way. Now they'll get the ball back, hopefully. Yeah, and the question is, how do you accomplish that? Do you onside kick it? Or since you have all three timeouts, do you kick it deep? To me, I'm playing field position with all three timeouts. I kick it deep and try and pin them back there. Carlson back out there now to send this one away. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. The Bears offense now getting ready to take over. Well, they can smell victory, partner. They can see it on the horizon, but certainly we're not done yet here. Defense still has three timeouts, and obviously this is a very slim lead they're holding on to. And let's face it, the easiest way to get this done, challenge your ground game, challenge your offensive line, your tight ends, your receivers, anyone who's going to lay down a block. Don't let there be penetration, because they're going to stack the line of scrimmage and maybe bring extra people to the ball. If you can do that, make them burn their timeouts, run out the clock, life will be good. But if you really want to gamble a little bit, a quick play action, quick throw, might be able to get it done. Just make sure it's not incomplete and stop the clock. Second and 12, and you'd have to assume another all-out effort to stop the run is coming. Another run on second down, trying to cover up. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. And let's see the Packers defensively six DBs, so a dime look on third. Could play coverage or bring pressure. All eyes on fields. And this is caught. He hits more. Now the Packers going to burn their third and final timeout. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. And they'll indeed take a knee. They'll run. It's Herbert. 
And he is going to have the Bears first. And that should be the capper. Call it a gain of 11 yards, and that should just about do it. Nothing too fancy, just a carry up the middle, but a successful carry up the middle against this 3-4 defense. And to be able to do that, what do you have to control? The nose guard, right? Got to be able to move him. Otherwise, you're not getting anything up the middle. Nice job by the center. Got a little help from one of his friends playing guard. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right? Just us against the world and get it done. <laughs> How happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something. And they, <laughs> they did in this one. Well, you really can't ask for much more than what we just had here. Not only a close game that went down to the wire, Charles, but a clean one, too. No turnovers in this contest. And I think you're exactly right about that. To me, this is just a pair of offenses trying to find the slightest bit of separation from each other. And they were both hoping that the other side would make the big mistake first. But today, neither side made that mistake. And what we got, a very entertaining game throughout. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. With that, we say so long, everyone, from Lambeau.